not work. It's very hard to dive onto a bed and land sitting up. Hi everyone and welcome to my quarantine hotel room. I decided to film my week of hotel quarantine workouts because I know that this time when you're stuck in a hotel room for 14 days can be really tough and I wanted to share some of the resources that I've used to help me mix up my workout routines and then also some tips to help you to stay motivated and to move a bit during your quarantine. So I'm just going to be showing you guys just one week just so that I don't make this video all way too long and way too boring because nobody wants to watch me do a bunch of exercises. And I want to try and keep it nice and short and sweet for you guys. So I'm going to do a week worth of workouts starting from Monday as day one all the way to Sunday. <laughs> Always got to check if I'm filming. <laughs> Paranoid, paranoid. One day, it's already happened a couple times where I've just literally forgotten to press the record button. Bane of my existence. Okay, I will switch you over to a voice over Ellen now and I'll sort of explain the workouts that I'm doing while you watch me do a couple of like exercises and stuff from them. I'm not going to show you all of the exercises from the workout because it is someone else's workout. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so starting off on Monday, I did a full body and cardio workout to start the week. And I've actually been following this lady, Lisa, and she runs this page called The Workout. She has like a paid subscription platform, but you can also find some of her stuff on YouTube which is amazing. She's really nice and humble and she works your butt off in her workouts. I'll also post all of these workouts up in the captions above so you can find them there. All right, so tip number one, coming at you in between the days. So my first one is don't write off this time. Like yes, you're in a hotel room. Yes, you can veg out this entire time and be lazy, but ultimately that's just gonna make you feel so much worse. Like while that's awesome for like a day or two, eventually being a lazy potato is eventually gonna get to you and it's gonna seep into your mental health and just make you feel but yeah, don't write this time off and you use it as a chance to maybe mix up your workout. So maybe you've always wanted to try yoga or calisthenics or handstands, of which I've got a bunch of videos if you want to check them out. I'll leave a couple down below in the description. But you know, use this time wisely. So for Tuesday, I did a leg strength workout. Now, I had to get a bit more inventive with this workout. I couldn't find any long enough workouts that I liked or that were body weight. So I ended up combining a couple together, which worked, which ended up working well. So I ended up combining a 20 minute at home body weight workout by MadFit. And then I did a 20 minute body weight leg workout by Jacqueline Wood. And then I did 10 minutes of a 12 minute body weight hamstring workout. And all of them together, that gave me like a 50 minute leg body weight workout, which was awesome and made me die. <laughs> Tip number two is so important, I think, in my opinion, which is planning out your workouts like a week in advance or like two weeks in advance because I don't know about you guys, but I used to waste so much time in the morning just scrolling and be like, oh, that looks like a good workout. I'll keep scrolling. 
Maybe there's a better one. Oh, this one looks good. Oh, okay. Which, how? How do I choose? Oh, God. And I spend like 20, half an hour, probably longer sometimes, just wasting my time looking for a good workout to do. So, just plan them in advance. And that way, if you're planning like a week or more, you can really look at the outline of what you're training and actually make a better plan than is, than, than it, than, than, compared to if you were doing it day by day, which just makes you waste so much of your time. So for Wednesday, I then did a, another full body, body weight workout, um, and this one I did from Lisa's The Workout page. These are actually so good and I always end up sweating so much and feel like I've really worked during these, which is amazing because I was pretty doubtful that I was going to get much of a good workout just doing body weight. But I haven't done body weight in such a long time that it actually really challenged me and was so good at mixing up my workouts. And of course, knowing me, I was also training my handstands during this time and I finally decided to start attempting some handstand push-ups, which I've never officially tried before, but I had a lot of fun trying these. <laughs> This kind of follows on from my last tip and it is looking online at YouTube or you know the interweb for heaps for the heap for workouts as there are so many free resources online at the moment like the online world is booming it's amazing there is so much free content out there so don't feel like you have to pay this like hefty price for like a subscription to something like yes if you find a good like workout platform that you absolutely love go for it then but there are so many free resources online so have a look online at youtube i'm going to list some of my favorite ones down in the description below and a couple of them are boho beautiful she does some really great yoga flows i'm going to butcher this name but natasha ocean you guys all know who i mean i'm sorry don't hate me. She does great short HIIT workout. Um, and then other HIIT workout people is Mad Fit and Caroline Gervin. I also think I just butchered that. I'm really sorry. And then also Tom Merrick who does great calisthenics and body weight stuff. Also a fellow handstander so check out some of his awesome content. And then also the Sweat Spot on Instagram has free classes. And then if you really enjoy their classes, I would highly recommend they list the teacher's PayPal information so you can like send them some money, which I think is really great. And their dance classes are top notch. All right, Thursday, I ended up doing an arm resistance band strength workout. So if you have like some circle bands or some long ones, they'll be super helpful. So just like I did with my leg workout, I combined a couple of workouts together. So I did a 20 minute mini resistance band upper body workout by Zana Van Dit. I'll post that up in the captions. I did that followed by a 20 minute upper body workout with resistance bands by Caroline Gervin and then a 12 minute upper body resistance band workout by Madfit. Ooh, two of them before. Man, that was like a full on sit up. Tip number four, find what works for you. Like, don't be going and doing like super long, hard HIIT workouts if you hate that. You're not going to stick with that. You're just gonna fall off the bandwagon. Like, let's say you enjoy dance classes or yoga so much more. Do that. Or if you enjoy short and sweet HIIT workouts, do that. Make it doable. You don't want this to be so incredibly hard that you fall off the bandwagon. The whole point of working out is to get your body moving and to help your mental health because this is a time when you need to be looking after yourself. Also, find what works for you in how you plan out your week. So maybe you only need three workouts in a week. 
maybe that's you. Or maybe you like to smash out like six workouts, one every single day. Like your gal who's, you know, I'm a performer. I like to keep fit and keep up my training skills. But yeah, just find what works for you and make it doable. Friday I decided to do a cardio and core workout which was from the workout and it was oh amazing. I love the combo of cardio and core. And then to finish off my week on a Saturday I did a little resistance band ass and thighs active rest day workout by the workout now don't let the don't let the name active rest day fool you because these workouts absolutely kill me like my glutes and my thighs were so dead by the time i got to the end of this workout i didn't feel like i particularly worked like really hard in like the sweaty energy wise but definitely great at targeting some areas. Oh, oh my gosh. That last workout, if you think just doing a banded like glutes and inner and outer thigh workout isn't going to burn, then you have something coming for you. <laughs> excuse my sweaty self I just finished my Saturday workout and tomorrow is Sunday so I'm gonna have a rest day which will be so nice after smashing out like five workouts this week that was amazing and one last thing is if you haven't signed up for my emailing list go down to the description and do that because I'll be posting heaps of free goodies for my email readers so jump on over to there to get some of them. Like this week, I am going to be giving you guys a beautiful little weekly spread where you can plan out all of your weekly workouts. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the workouts that I have done in my hotel quarantine. If you did like this video, please give it a like and let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of video and subscribe if you want to see more like this and hit that little notification bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video, which is usually all once a week on Sundays. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome. Sound like a dying cat. That's the switch.